Okay, so I just kicked my Uggs off. It's getting a little cooler. Uh, if you're out in the water, you're probably moving from a 3-2 to thinking about a 4-3. Um, and I know it's hard to think about, but at some point you'll be in a 5-4. Um, so they might like slide on easily, but getting them off, especially around the shoulders, is a totally different story. So um, a full deep breath when you're taking your wetsuit off is helpful. But um, a little bit of sho uh, shoulder mobility will also help a lot. Okay, so you want to be um, tadasana feet, so heels kind of in line with the sit bones, low belly drawing in. Come to a cactus position and take a full breath in and out. And then I want you to get really strong and active for the legs, hug the muscles to the bones so the quads are engaged, and really reach your elbows back behind you. And same thing with the backs of the hands. So spread the palms wide, spread the webbing of the fingers wide, keep the legs engaged, last breath. And then as you exhale, we'll just kind of come down to parallel to the floor and then an inverted cactus. You should already feel some sensation in the shoulders, take a breath. And then what I want you to do is take the forearms behind, the right crosses underneath the left. So we just kind of reach the fingertips like they could pop out the side waist. So you might catch like a little glimpse of the fingers. Good, come back to that inverted cactus, take a breath, come back to a neutral position. Good, and then let the forearms and the palms touch. Good, open back up on a breath in. Good, come to that neutral kind of parallel position. Back to the inverted cactus this time left forearm behind, right, and reach your fingertips like they could peek out the side waist. Good, squeeze the shoulders towards each other. And then return back to the inverted position and all the way back up. And this time when you come back up, cross your right arm over your left and eagle arms. So if that doesn't work, you can take hands to shoulders. If it's available to you, lift the elbows. Lift the fingertips up, good, and drop your shoulders down. Imagine pressing your forearms forward. Last breath in, full breath out. And then on an inhale, open back up, get the stretch to the chest and eagle arms, other way. Immediately, I want you to press your forearms forward reach the elbows up, reach the fingertips up, and let your shoulders descend so they drop away from the ears. Good, release back to neutral. Inhale, open up. Good, and exhale, release. Okay, so this is called funky chicken. So you're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna put the thumb in the palm, wrap the fingertips around. You're gonna um, kind of come out to the side like you're gonna put your hand on the hip. But what I want you to think about is putting the hand right on the low back slash outer hip. So you can use a little bit of effort to um, reach that elbow more to the midline. If you want a little bit of assistance and a deeper stretch, bring the left arm around, use the hand to draw that elbow towards the middle of the body. Good, full breath in and out, getting right into the belly of the joint. Good, release. Okay, other side. So left hand, palm, um, thumb and palm, fingers wrap around, um, act as if you're putting your hand on your hip. And then it'll just, the back of the hand kind of slides back a little bit and we bring the elbow in. Good, full breath in and out. If you want some assistance, right arm comes across. <laughs> it's definitely a unique feeling for sure. Good, last breath and release. And then arms by your sides, palms facing out, thumbs kind of out. Uh, this is this pretty strong internal external rotation of the shoulder. So I want you to let the thumbs face in towards you. And what's happening is it's a strong internal rotation of the shoulders. Continue kind of rotating as much as you can and then rotate completely in the other side. That's external. So we just go internal and external rotation. You'll notice it the most in the hands, but all the joints are connected really along that chain. So shoulders, elbows, wrists, even into the fingers. Good. One more time. 
strong external and internal. Good. And then release and just roll your shoulders open and back. So from here, we stand back a little bit. We're going to stretch the right arm up, bend the elbow, just for that classic tricep stretch. Left hand comes to the elbow. Take a full breath. And then as you exhale, side bend to the left. And keep your feet fairly steady. So I'll usually take my left fingertips and get a pretty nice tight grip. So as we're stretching here, we're opening up the muscles along the right side body, opening up the intercostal muscles that lie between the ribs. There are breathing muscles, our accessory breathing muscles. Good. Last breath. Come back up. Release. Same thing on the other side. So left arm is up, bend the elbow. That classic tricep stretch. In fact, you could stay right here and still get a lot of benefit. But if you'd like, go ahead and take the side bend towards the right. Keep your feet pretty stable. And let the body have some leeway to slightly, um, when you breathe in, you'll feel like there's a little bit of a lifting. And as you breathe out, you might side bend slightly deeper. Good. You might even feel a difference within the stretch you receive in the tricep with the inhale and exhale. Good. Last breath. And release. Okay. So we're going to sweep the right arm across. The left hand plays a pretty key role here. So I want you to grab right above the elbow and really, it's almost like you're wrapping the arm around you and um, the right fingertips are going to press into the upper back. And we're using that left hand as much as you kind of really hug that arm in. At the same time, drop the right shoulder out of the ear. <laughs> Good, last breath. Using that left hand to really get the arm close to the body. Good, and release. Same thing on the other side. So right arm crosses, left arm takes that position right above the elbow. You can put the hand on the body. Good, really squeeze in. So if your uh, left hand that's like patting yourself in the back, if it kind of hovers over the back, let that happen. You're just using that right hand to hug in at the same time, dropping the left shoulder out of the ear. Good. And release. Okay. I want to show you the next thing. If you don't have a strap, it's not a problem. I want you to take your arms by your sides, make a fist, act as if you have a strap, keep your arms straight and strong and lift up. If you do have a strap, so mine's actually pretty long and you could use anything for a strap. You could use even like a towel, a tie, a leash or a dog, <laughs> whatever you have. So if you're using a strap, I usually take my feet a tab at wider, straight arms and a nice tight strap, reach it up. And you're gonna pause for just a moment where you begin to really feel some opening and some sensation. I have my hands tightly pulling the strap like I could pull it apart. And I'm actually, instead of um, coming in and out of this stretch, I want you to stay for a moment and feel all the sensation, the skin stretching, opening up through the connective tissue in the chest. Good, last breath and release. Okay, good luck getting off that wetsuit. <laughs> Namaste.